let's begin the show with Sarpira. That is the Hindi remake of a Tamil film, Sura Rai Potru, that was inspired by events from the life of Captain G. R. Gopinath, founder of India's low-cost airline, Simplify Deccan, as described in his memoir, Simply Fly, a Deccan Odyssey. What if I tell you that a flight ticket will cost you just a rupee? Well, at times where airfares are touching the skies, this idea would be deemed as a gimmick. Hey, but this is a reality in the first decade of the millennium when one Captain G. R. Gopinath dreamed of making air travel affordable for every Indian citizen. Captain Gopinath and his biography, Deccan Odyssey, inspired filmmaker Sudha Kongara to make the acclaimed film Surarai Potru. Four years later, Kongara has helmed its Hindi adaptation titled Sarfira, starring superstar Akshay Kumar and Radhika Madan. The topography naturally changes from Tamil Nadu to Maharashtra with Kumar playing Veer Mahatre, a poor man from Jarandeshwar village. He has nothing save an idea of starting India's first low-cost airline. Sudha Kongara's writing and her staging of scenes are the sweet spots in this film. We know that she had directed the earlier one too, from the very first scene of a plane declaring May Day to deep diving into the psyche of Veer, that is Akshay, and his resilience. The film has several emotional moments. The actor has made a solid comeback in a performance that is so rooted in reality. His emotional scenes when he breaks down in front of his mother, played by the brilliant Seema Biswas, is a reminder of how an actor must be an actor first and a star later. He tugs at your soul in these scenes. Directed by Sudha Kangora, a national award-winning filmmaker who is known for her exceptional storytelling and nuanced filmmaking, Akshay brought in his unparalleled energy and depth to a narrative that inspires the common man to dream big, cheers your aspirations. Kongara brings her signature finesse and insight into this film, ensuring a cinematic experience that is both profound and entertaining. Sarpira, a promising film, is written by Sudha and Shalini Usha Devi with dialogues by Pooja Tolani. With Sudha Kongara at the helm, Sarpira naturally stays true to the core story. If one has watched the original, then it will be hard to distinguish the Hindi adaptation from the original. The two notable differences are the location where Veer Mahatre bumps into then President Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam and the welcome omission of certain misogynistic elements where in Surarai Potru, Nedumaran raises his hand on Bomi, that is Aparna Balamurali, with the wife telling her husband to save this masculinity for the day when he becomes a big man. If you haven't watched the original, then Sarfira will strike you as a breath of fresh air. On the flip side, the editing of Sarfira is a bit convenient as the film could have easily been cut by 25 minutes or so and the songs are almost a, an avoidable distraction as the film clearly had this one purpose and we should have stuck to that purpose. However, a special cameo towards the end makes up for the fatigue that starts to set in due to the long length of the film. Sarfira is a return to form for Akshay Kumar and definitely worth a watch for the real life drama that it portrays. There are several emotional moments too, especially when Veer Jagannath Matre, that is Akshay Kumar, an Air Force pilot was unable to reach his father when his father was on deathbed because he didn't have the money to fly. He kept pleading with the people at the airport for money but nobody helped, saying that only people with money can fly. This was the watershed moment in the film and this story. With support from the Indian Air Force, the retired pilots and his wife, Veer Jagannath Matri, that is Akshay, worked hard to fulfill his dream of making an airline where a safai wala, that is a cleaning person, could also travel by air. From the makers of Airlift, Baby, Oh My God 2, Toilet, Kahani, Sarfira is an incredible story set in the world of startups and aviation. The film is all set to inspire the common man to dream big and to chase their dreams even if the world calls them crazy. Not just Akshay Kumar or Radhika Madan, Paresh Rawal, Seema Biswas, in fact all the actors including Anil Charanjit have done a brilliant job in this one. And Akshay Kumar is 
very endearing and impressive in this one. With this being certainly one of the finest films of his career at least in the past one year. In all, if you haven't watched the Sura Rai Potru, the original, it will be quite a delightful watch as this is something you may not have seen before. <laughs>